Hello everyone and welcome back on my channel. If you're watching this video, I'm gonna assume that you probably watched my other one where I was reacting to the teaser trailer of Artstopper. And if you watch it, you know what to expect today, which is a uh, lot of squealing, lots of um, repeating words, oh my god and my babies, and basically screaming. Just in case you missed my other video, the basic stuff you need to know is that I'm a huge fan of Alice work, especially Heartstopper, because it's it was my first time seeing uh, so many queer identities being represented and being represented in a very positive and light way. Of course, there are still struggles in, in Heartstopper, but I feel like the focus of it is mostly what it feels like to be a part of this community and how you can help each other and learn and grow together uh, as friends or as more than friends and how family can help you or not. It's just amazing. It's a it's a marvelous piece of fiction, and uh, I've been waiting a very very long time for a show like this that focuses pr primarily on many different queer identities and how friendship works between members of the queer community. So I'm really really excited. I, I'm just I'm just super happy, and I know I'm gonna love it already because the teaser trailer was amazing as it was and uh, yeah i'm really looking forward to seeing the uh trailer and actually hearing them speak because like the high high is getting old okay it was cute at first but like we need more please and also i'm looking forward to seeing bash aka ben hope who is a character let's just say that but we love bash we love bash we just don't love ben Quick disclaimer before we get started, because I know some of you like to skip the intro. Uh, I'm a reactor who has a lot of emotions and I may pause a lot and I may scream a lot. So if you're using headphones, good luck. Sorry. What sort of boy do you want to go out with? A golden retriever, please. Well, if it isn't Charlie Spring, have a new year. You're over there. Mr. Nicholas Nelson. I was gonna pause just to know, to point out that I loved how the music has some kind of heartbeat sound effect to it, but then then Charlie just turned around and smiled to Nick and said hi or hey in the cutest voice possible, and now I'm like close to tearing up, which is dumb and stupid. But I know the next shot is going to be Nick answering hi with a cute smile. Am I ready for that? No, I'm not. Am I gonna press play? Yes. Hi. <laughs> Nick Delson. He is the star player on the rugby team. We are a trio of borderline outcasts. He's different. Uh, hey. <laughs> okay. I love <laughs> Tao, please. I love the fact that Isaac is having a book with him because like as a notorious book nerd, I relate so much to this. And <laughs> the way his books oh my god, are his books going to fall and he's gonna help him like pick them up oh that was so cute literally just another silly crap ciao oh, shut the fuck up hi 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 come on the hi is actually not funny oh he's the straightest person i have ever seen thank you l treason betrayal how do i stop liking someone specifically a straight guy mm. uh, the question for the ages <laughs> He's good, he's fast, isn't he? I had something I wanted to ask you. Do you want to go out with me? Do you want to join the rugby team? What? I love the editing! Why are the other team literal adult men? <laughs> so, does anyone remember the rules of rugby? Whoa. Aww, you gave for them. <laughs> that was just enough to piss me off. <laughs> oh my god. I have little chills of anger. What's going on? Nick's lost all his friends. He's getting into fights. No. Oh my god! Oh my god! This gives me so much satisfaction! Where is Ben though? Like, it's 1 minute and 28 seconds and still no Ben Hope? When he's like part, a big part of the storyline? Okay! Do you ever feel like you're only doing things because everyone else is and you're scared to change? Just miss how things used to be with the four of us. You're a good friend. I know. <laughs> if he is even slightly mean to you, you'll murder him. It's got to be said. 
sent him a strongly worded DM, but that is fine too. <laughs> I love them. I'm just putting again, but I can't. I can't believe that those scenes I've read so many times and seen on paper. I'm finally seeing them on screen. It's. <laughs> I don't have words. Oh, they're falling around. Oh my god. Oh my god. I want to believe in bro. <laughs> I got teary. I got teary just by seeing my queens, my babies kissing. I'm so happy for them. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm finally going to ha to have an health a healthy cute sapphic relationship on screen. God, yes. Oh, fuck. Wait, I just, I love the sound for a second, but it's fine. Oh. <laughs> this is not funny. They, they cannot do this. Like, the first time, the first time around, I was like, you know what, that's the perfect way to end it. But at the same time, it's so freaking frustrating. And I didn't know they could go higher than this, and yet they managed to top it. Let's discuss about the amount of time they said hi to each other because I know there is going to be compilation uh, when the show airs. Oh my god, that was great. That was so great. I actually, I'm gonna need to rewatch it again and like concentrate and focus on all the di dialogue and stuff. Um, there is some dialogue I missed because English, English isn't my first language and especially British English is a bit harder for me to decipher sometimes by here, but I I'm going to rewatch it. Um, I know it's going to be great. Like, I don't know what you expect me to say except that I'm going to love it. Like, this show is literally everything I've been asking for since I was myself a teenager. And better late than never, I guess. I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited. And I don't know if I'm wrong about this, but since the attitude um, for the shoot was only centered on Will, Yaz, um, Kit and Joe, I'm guessing that those are the main romance and like love stories we're gonna see um, portrayed in the show because I know that Darcy and Tara are already in a relationship so it makes sense to not see them as much because since they're already together like besides showing us cute moments of them being a cute couple there is no development kind of that and the fact that they are side characters I'm quite surprised that we didn't see Imogen or if we did I missed her but I wanted to see her because, like, hello. I'm my hope for Imogen is that uh, I hope she's bi as well because if she is bi or pan, whatever, uh, it would mean that her and Nick could be the bisexual duo, and I think that would be great. And uh, my personal ed canon for Isaac, since he kind, it kind of, it kind of exists as not really a replacement for Aled, but kind of, I'm ed canoing him as ace and potentially a romantic or at least queer but i mean if his ace is queer but you know what i mean so that was my reaction i hope you enjoyed it uh you can expect to find my reaction to the entire show in the days after it drops and it's going to be at the end of my spring break so i don't guarantee you fast updates because i still don't know if i'm going to watch the entire thing in one day or if i'm going to um cut my watch time and but if i do that it means that i cannot be on twitter because i'm going to get spoiled so i'll see how i do but you can expect to find my reactions if you enjoy my content or if you want to know more about what i do you can follow me on twitter you can also follow this channel because i have many other reactions to different shows and if you are into artstopper there is a chance that you are into the show that i've watched please leave a comment down below i'm really really looking forward to know your thoughts about the trailer about the cast about everything that's coming to us please let's share that experience together um and yeah Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, see you for the Artstopper show. I still cannot believe this. Bye.